Hey everyone, and welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at the R100 USB adapter by Big Big One. Now, if you recognize that name, it's because a couple of weeks ago, we also reviewed one of their controllers on the channel, and I was actually quite impressed with it. So if you want to check that out, I recommend you check it out in the description up above. But basically, they not only sent me one of their controllers, they also sent me their R100 USB adapter. Now, if you're wondering what this adapter actually does, is it gives you universal compatibility between your first party controllers. Translate that into English. What it actually means is you can use a PS4 or an Xbox One controller on your Switch, or you could use a Pro controller or an Xbox One controller on your PS4. I think you're getting the gist of it. You could use a PS4 controller or a Pro controller on your Xbox One system. Now, I know you're going to tell me adapters like this have existed in the past. Other manufacturers make them and you'd be totally right. But there's two things that actually made me feel like actually testing out the big, big one edition of this adapter. And the first reason being that on the description of the item, they say that right out of the box, it's supposed to be compatible not only with the Nintendo Switch, but the Nintendo Switch Lite. But the Switch Lite doesn't have a USB-A type adapter. So how exactly does that work? Well, they took a very simple route. It's just that in their box, they include a USB Type-C to a dongle like this. Now, yes, you could buy this separately with another manufacturer's dongle, but at least Big Big One includes it with their dongle in the very same box, meaning that you don't have to make a separate purchase. And number two, someone that is less tax savvy and maybe didn't know that this type of dongle existed, well, they're going to get it right in their box so they don't have to worry about buying the right adapter. But there is also a second reason why this adapter was very interesting to me, and that is the fact that it is compatible not only with PS4 controllers, but also with PS5 controllers and in both directions, meaning that I'll be able to use my PS4 controller on an eventual PS5 that I might purchase. I'll be able to even use my Pro controller on my PS5 and vice versa. I'll be able to use my DualSense controller on my Nintendo Switch and my PS4. Now, unfortunately, I'll be honest with you, for the moment, I don't have a PS5 controller. And since currently we're in lockdown, I don't have any friends that are close enough where I could actually get access to a PS5 controller. I wasn't able to test out specifically that functionality, but it is right on the box. It is guaranteed. I confirmed with Big Big One that is a compatibility of the item. And it is the reason why I wanted this adapter because I've said it in the past, I am looking at eventually investing in a PS5 to eventually do from time to time, so maybe a video here and there on a PS5 game. However, what I definitely did not want to have to do is invest a lot of money in a second PS5 controller because they're quite expensive. And yes, you'll be losing the dual sense part of the controller, but for a second player controller, you know what? To me, that is perfectly acceptable. Now, to be honest, this won't be a very long video because this is a pretty simple, straightforward product. What I'll do next is just give you a close up to show you how you sync up a PS4 controller with your Switch, for example, which is pretty much the same process with each one of the systems. And then I'll give you a quick breakdown of a couple of limitations that I actually noticed, however, on this adapter and also a few final thoughts. Now, just before we move on to the close up, don't forget that if you do like this content, best way to support the channel, hit the like button and subscribe if you aren't already. So as usual, if we just take a quick look at the box, there's actually a lot of information on this box. So we are just going to take a couple of seconds. So the front is simple. You get a simple image of the adapter. But the back, we actually get a lot of information. It's letting you know exactly which controllers work with this adapter. So we have the DualSense or PS5 controller. We have the DualShock or PS4 controller. We have the Switch Pro controller, the Xbox One controller, and the Elite and the Elite Series 2 as well. And lastly, it's showing you that basically all these controllers become compatible with this list of systems. Now, there are a couple I didn't mention in the intro, which means that it also makes all these controllers automatically compatible with Windows 10. Uh, the only thing is basically your PS4 controller will show up like an Xbox controller and so forth. But basically, you can use this with either a PS5, PS4, a PS3 as well, a Switch, a Switch Lite and a Windows PC. So that's enough with the box. Now let's move on to what's actually in it. 
So as I showed you slightly in the intro of the video, basically what you get in the box is you get the dongle and you also get this adapter that basically adapts from USB type C to USB type A. Now I have my switch light out and we're going to show you just how easy it is to set it up with your switch light. But basically the process is exactly the same no matter what system you're using, simply whether or not you're using the dongle is the only difference. So basically first thing we need to do is we just need to plug it into our switch light. So we get the adapter onto the dongle, the dongle onto the switch light, and we're set up and good to go. The dongle will automatically start going into pairing mode as soon as it's plugged in. So now I backed up a slightly and I brought my PS4 controller into frame. Now there's one thing that is really important that you need to check on your Nintendo Switch before you get started. However, you have to make sure that in your system settings, under the controller and sensors menu, that you have the pro controller wired communication set to on. Because basically what this dongle does is it makes you think that you've plugged a pro controller physically into your switch. So once that is set to on, you can just back up in your menu. As I said, this is still in sync mode. All you need to do is hold down the share and PS button on your PS4 controller. Obviously the syncing method will depend on which controller you're using, but for the PS4, that's how you sync it up. So hold that down for a couple of seconds. Your PS4 will go into sync mode. And after a few seconds, your controller will vibrate and it'll be synced with the dongle. At that point, you have a perfectly functional controller for your Nintendo Switch and your PS4 controller is showing up as a regular Pro controller. The process is basically as simple as that. And the Switch is actually the only system where you have a previous step that you have to do to turn on the wired communication mode. With the PS4 and the Xbox, you actually don't have to do that step. And we can do a test and input device, test the buttons, and everything is showing up just as it would on a Pro Controller. So basically your square is Y, this is X, you have B, A, and whatnot. And the analog sticks function as well for pressing them down. And just in case you're wondering, unless you go back into the settings and you turn the wired communication off on your switch, it'll always be on on from now on unless you reset it. Now, not only this, but with using this product, what I realized as well is by including this little adapter here, not only does it make it compatible with the switch light, it also makes it compatible with your standard Nintendo switch in tabletop mode. So now that you have a pretty good idea of how simple it is to set up this dongle with your Nintendo Switch or with any one of these systems, uh, let's go over, however, a couple of the limitations that I did come across with this dongle. Now, in all honesty, I didn't come across a ton. I only came across one major limitation, but for a lot of people, it could maybe be an issue. The fact is that this dongle is really only directed towards first party controllers. So official Nintendo Switch Pro controllers, official PS4 controllers, and all official Xbox One controllers or Elite controllers. Now, God knows I have a lot of wireless controllers, and I tested pretty much every manufacturer's controller with this dongle. And unfortunately, at least on the Nintendo third party end, none of the other controllers would sync up on my PS4 with this dongle. And that also includes 8-bit DO controllers. So if you have a lot of those, you just might want to know that this dongle will not work with your 8-bit DO controllers. But among all the first-party controllers, there were absolutely no compatibility issues. And the setup was just as quick as it was when I showed it to you on the Switch. Now, as I said, it won't be a long video. A couple of final thoughts I want to leave you on. I really think that this dongle is super, super interesting for someone who owns either a PS4 and Xbox, a Switch and a PS4, why? Because it gives you sort of the best of both worlds without actually having to invest in a second controller. And what exactly do I mean like that? Well, let's look at the strengths of the PS4 controller. The PS4 controller has a D-pad centric design, meaning that if you play a lot of retro games on your Nintendo Switch and you don't wanna buy, let's say an 8-bit though SN30 Pro Plus or an SN30 30 Pro 2 for your Nintendo Switch, well, the PS4 controller actually has a really nice design for retro games. And not only that, if you play a lot of fighting games, 
Even among the professionals, a lot of people will tell you that the PS4 or PS3 controllers are among some of the best D-pads for fighting games. So ultimately for only $20, because that is the sale price of the Big Big One adapter, it's about $20 US, you get a really good retro controller for your Nintendo Switch, or you get a really good fight pad for your Nintendo Switch. If you take the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, what are the major advantages of the Pro Controller? The asymmetrical design of the analog sticks. So it's the contrary. If you play a lot of FPS games on your PS4, I actually prefer playing them now with my Pro Controller on my PS4 than I do playing it with my standard PS4 controller. Not only that, but what is the second issue that annoys me the most about my PS4 controller? The battery life. The Pro Controller doesn't have that issue. So if I'm sitting down for a very long gaming session, I will grab my Pro Controller now rather than my PS4 controller. Rather, if I'm sitting down for a short session, I can grab either or. And as I said, finally, for anyone who's looking at possibly buying a PS5 and maybe needs a second player controller, doesn't mind not having the dual sensibility on the other controllers, I can say that the investment for $20 in a little dongle like this is gonna feel way better than dropping 80 to $100 on a second player controller. And just before we go, I would say that as an owner of multiple systems, I'm wondering why I actually didn't get a dongle like this years ago, because it just opens up the door to a whole lot of compatibility. Now, just in case you were wondering, this is not a sponsored video, but I do wanna thank Big Big Juan for sending me the dongle for free. And just before we go, I just want to remind all of you that if you did like this content, you want to see more as usual, best way to support the channel, hit the like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when all my future videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see you in my next video.